to do the basic cheerleading jumps. Cheerleaders do jumps to create excitement, get the crowd's attention, and to show athleticism. Knowing the basics of cheerleading jumps is important as you progress into harder jumps and to connect tumbling to your jumps. The three jumps that we're gonna go over right now are the pencil jump, the tuck jump, and the spread eagle. We're gonna start with the tuck jump. Five, six, seven, eight on one, you're gonna go ahead and hit a high V. You're gonna hold on two, and on three, you're gonna swing your arms down and hit this position with your knees bent. On four, you're gonna jump off the ground and hit a T position. On five, you're gonna return to the ground with your knees bent and chest up. You're gonna hold six, and on seven, you're going to stand. And that's the pencil jump. The next jump that we're going to do is the tuck jump. For this jump, we're gonna do the same exact approach. You're gonna hit your high V on one, hold two. On three, you're gonna swing into this position, and on four, you're gonna hit that position right there. So this is a high V, and you're gonna bring your knees up to your chest. On five, you're gonna to return to the ground with your arms by your side, knees bent and chest up, hold six, and stand on seven. That was the tuck jump. The last jump that we're gonna do is the spread eagle. We're gonna hit our high V on one, hold two. On three, we're gonna hit this position, and on four, we're gonna make an X with our arms and our legs. So if Andrea is just standing on the ground, her arms are in a high V, and her knees are facing forward, and her toes are also going to be pointed in the jump position when she's off the ground. On five, she's gonna snap her legs together, land in this position, and stand on seven. So the three jumps that we did, once again, were the pencil jump, we did the tuck jump, and the spread eagle. And those are the basic cheerleading jumps. 